Okay, question seven. The diagram below shows a solar panel, A, B, C, D, right, which is fixed to a flat piece of concrete slab, E, F, E, F, C, D. A, B, C, D and E, F, C, D are two identical, that's important, right, so they mean they're exactly the same. Rhombuses, okay. K is a point on D, C, let's see that, there we go, such that D, K equals K, C, okay, and a, K is perpendicular to D, C. So that's a right angle, okay? That would also be then a right angle there, okay? So then um, it says A, ang the angle A, D, C equals the angle C, D, E, which equals 60 degrees, and A, D equals six units, okay? So they've actually put in all the information for you, right? What I've done is I've put some properties of rhomb rhombuses over here. Okay, so we know that they have equal sides because remember a rhombus is just a square that's been slanted, right? So all the sides of the rhombus are the same length and the diagonal, the diagonal angles are equal. So that angle is going to equal that angle and that angle is going to equal that angle. So that's really important because they're probably going to draw on these properties, right, to help, well, in answering our questions, right? We're going to have to draw on these properties. So 7.1 says, determine AK in terms of X, right? So AK is this one here, okay? So we have an angle and we have a side. So let us go to our formula sheet, right? And see if we can find anything there. Mm, I don't think this is really going to help us because we have some area rules and that sort of thing, but that's not what we're necessarily looking for, right? Let's just remember what sine equals, right? So sine x equals when we have so katoa right so it would be opposite over hypotenuse right so in this case we have sine 60 right opposite is this ak right and our hypotenuse is x right so if we do a little shuffle over here we get ak equals x times sine 60. now you should know that sine 60 is square root of 3 over 2 because this is your special angles, right? If you don't, put it in your calculator. Um, I would advise that you learn these, but that is what that equals, right? So we found the answer in terms of x. We've done what they've asked. Let's now move on. Okay. So we, um, now for 7.2, it says write down the size of angle KCF. So K Use some color, guys. Always use some color because sometimes it's very tricky to see what's going on. K, C, F. Okay. So we know, right, that this equals 60. So this is all properties of rhombus, right? That equals 60. So that equals 60, all right? This then has to equal 120, right? And that equals 120. Okay, and remember that's because all the angles in a rhombus, when you add them together, have to equal 360. So that's why that equals 120, because 120 plus 120 plus 60 plus 60 gives us 360. Okay, but what do we know, guys? We know that this rhombus is identical to this rhombus. So that's 60, therefore that's 60. If that's 120, this is also 120. Okay, so we know that our angle KCF equals 120. You don't have to put a reason, but the reason here is because we are working in identical rhombuses, okay? So it's very important when we're doing these questions to remember what we're working in, right? What we've been given, right? And how we can leverage that to answer our questions. Let's now move on to 7.3. Now, 7.3 is the most difficult question here, and it's got a lot of meat in it, okay? So let's just unpack it. So it says... If it is further given that A, K, F, now, where is A, K, F? Okay, A, so it's this one, A, K, F, okay? So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of color. The angle between the solar panel and the concrete slab, right? So we have the solar panel like this, and then we have the concrete slab like this, right? And then there's like that in between, right? There's like that kind of um, strip over there, right? So that's what we're looking at. We're looking at the strip. Okay, the angle between the solar panel and the concrete slab is Y. Okay, so I've labeled it here for us, but it's from there to there, and we're calling that Y. Okay, determine the area, the area of AKF. So basically, we want the area of the strip, right, in terms of X and Y. Now, 
let's think what we actually have here. All right. So if we if we know, right, we know that we have this angle y, okay, and we know that that side equals x. We know that each of these sides equal x, right? Each of the sides of the rhombus equal x, okay? That's what we have. So let's think of what, what formula we're going to use. We're probably going to use, if we're doing area, we're going to use this half a, b, sine c. That's probably what we're going to use, okay? So we want to, we know what sine c is in this instance. It would be y. Okay, so we want to then get the, the length of KF and the length of AK. Okay, those are the things we want. But we've already found the length of AK, haven't we? Right? We said that in our previous question, right, for 7.1, we had that AK equals square root of 3, 2x, right? So we now have a side, we have an angle, and if we find the length of this side, then we can find the area. So let's do, let's find what this KF is, right, in length. So we probably need a little formula to help us, right? So let's go back to our formula sheet and see what we can use. Well, we know that we can use this formula here, right, to get us our length of a side. In this case, A, right, so it's going to be KF. So let's use that, okay? So we say KF, all squared, right? So now let's make sure that we know what's going on, right? So I'm going to do, we're going to work in this triangle down here, right, to get the length of KF because it would, we just have a bit more information, right? We, we know what the length of that side is, we know what the length of that side is, and we have an angle. So we just have a lot more going for us, right? So just remember, this, this little orange line here is actually x over 2, and that's x over 2. Because remember, every side of a rhombus equals x, and this side is split in 2. So there's x over 2, there's x, and there's 120. So again, what we've done here is we see that 7.1 and 7.2 are going to help us solve 7.3. And you shouldn't be surprised when you see that, right? These questions build on each other. So let us write what we know in this triangle into the form of this, tri of this formula here. Okay, so we have KF squared, right, is going to be CF squared plus CK squared minus 2CF times CK, si I'm sorry, not sine, cos KCF, okay? So just so that you see that, right, it is CF squared plus CK squared minus 2CF times CK, times this KCF, this angle that we have in the middle there. So we've literally just substituted into this formula over here. Okay, it's important. Okay, so now let's see if we can solve this, right? Oh, I don't know, I'm putting my paper away, like I can just do my, my answer without my paper. Okay, so we know that CF equals X squared, I told you that. CK equals X over 2 all squared, right? Because we said that equals x over 2 because it's half the length of that total side. We have x there minus 2 x x over 2 cos 120. Okay, so now we're not in too bad a situation. Let's just neaten this up a bit. So that's going to be x squared cos 120. Okay, so now what I want us to do, right, is you see that these are all in terms of x squared. So we can actually add all of them together, right? Let's just see what cos 120 is in our calculator. Okay, cos of 120 is negative half, right? So we have x squared plus x squared over 4 minus, or it's now going to be plus because a minus and a minus make a plus, x squared over 2. Right, so now we're going to get x squared plus... I'm just going to do it the long way. I know that it's not necessary. I'm sure you can do this without me doing it the long way. But I just want you guys to be doubly sure that you are following me. Oh, sorry. I hope you saw that. Okay. So basically, I just solved it and I put it into one term. So now we know that kf squared equals this, right? So kf is just going to be square root of 7x over 2. 
Okay, so now we have that, right? And so now we actually have everything we need to work out the area. Okay, I'm gonna work out the area over here. I'm like no idea why I'm so bad at planning my space. But using this here, so it's the area of AKF, that's what they've told us to find, AKF, right? So the area of triangle AKF, okay, is gonna equal half, okay, times AK, times uh, KF, okay? So we're saying that, that side times that side times what? Uh, it's sine, right? Sine of Y, okay? Perfect. So let's now put everything in. So it's one over two times square root of three over two X, that's AK, times Square root of 7 over 2x sine y. Okay. So all we need to do now is we just need to simplify this a little bit. Right. So what we have is we then have square root of 21 over 8 x squared sine y. Okay, it's a little bit messy, but literally I've just neatened that, right? So what we had to do here is we had to identify what formula we wanted to use, find the inputs of the formula we needed to use, and then find the area. Okay, so we, we started by finding the length of a side that we needed to input into the area because we identified we needed to use this, right? We found the length of KF using this triangle at the bottom, right? Once we had KF, we then input it into our area, um, formula and then we solved okay so that's the end of that question a little bit tricky must be honest definitely did not give us enough space to do what we needed to do but this is basically a great question to go over because it's a little bit sort of left field application of, of geometry but really really good to test your skill okay so I hope that was helpful let's move on to the next one